Pat Meyer, University of Illinois, right receiver. Your fourth year now, Pat, at Illinois. This era, so much player movement across college football. What do you love about playing for this program? I mean, it's a great, great program. Coach B does a great job just uh, leading us as, as, as great football players. Big family, huge on family, and just coming in every day grinding with my brothers. We saw you get to play inside and outside last year. What is it about this offense that plays to your strengths? I mean, just being this my, my third year in this offense and understanding how, how concepts work, I feel like I can honestly play any position on the field, quarterback, running back, O-line. So I understand the concepts a lot, and I feel like I'd be very diverse this year. I know you brought up the family point about Coach. What is the best thing about playing for Coach Bielema? He's a, he's a player's coach. You know, he put us before anybody. He even put us before the coaches. So his main thing is, is us. That's what I love about him. He's always truthful, and he's going to um, continue to push us every day. This program has sent some big time prospects to the NFL in recent years. We saw Devin Witherspoon two years ago, Johnny Newton last year. Seeing those guys, the path to success and what they did, how does that kind of inspire your confidence to what lies ahead? I mean, it kind of fuels me every day. You know, like those both are Florida guys, so you know, yeah. we grind hard. You know, got a lot of a lot of high goals. Spoon's actually my roommate his senior year at the university, and just watching him. That must have been awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just watch what he funny. did. Watch what he did every day, competing against him as well. Then, right. then coming home to watch film together. It was a great experience. I learned a lot from him, Johnny, all the go, Isaiah, Casey, all those guys. I wanted to bring up Isaiah and Casey. They're off to the NFL now, and I know you'll miss those guys, but. It opens up a lot of targets in this offense. Does that kind of get the adrenaline going a little bit? More opportunity? Yeah, I mean, every year, you know, we do we do, we do do things kind of different. So I'm, I'm expecting a, a lot of new things this year, just uh, getting the ball in my hand, allowing me to play how, how I play. You get a transfer in Sakari Franklin, who's another big-time talent. What have you gotten to see from him in a limited time how, and how you guys can kind of complement each other? For sure. Um, He first came in, you know, kind of quiet, you know, coming to a new program, trying to look for guys that, that you kind of fit in with. Um, So first day, that was my main goal, just get him to get a little comfortable. And then after that, we kind of we kind of merged together, Um, did a lot of um, overtime work with each other, just trying to teach him the standard and how we do things at the University of Illinois. He's a great player, like you say, just like me, play inside, outside. So I feel like they give us a lot of weapons on offense. I know this offense is looking for as much consistency as possible going into this season. What have you guys done so far to kind of find that? Um, I mean, like like work as a whole offense, because before past years, we would do just like receivers at one time, tight ends, and then running back. So you just, you know, to get places you've never been, you got to do things a, a lot different. So um, now we work as a whole offense to just get, get, that, get us to mesh together and just get our timing on point. You caught seven touchdowns last year. Does one kind of stick out more than the other? Uh... I'm, all of them feel kind of good. I say, I say my one hand against Nebraska. That's probably my first one hand touchdown. So, I mean, I left a lot of touchdowns on the field too that I wish I could have got. But that one hand was my my favorite. You have a lot of great corners on on the calendar this year. Obviously, Will Johnson in Michigan, a guy like Kobe. Is there? Do you circle matchups and kind of look forward ahead, or is it one of those things where you kind of take it week by week? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's my man. I've never been a look ahead or a look in the past kind of guy. Just focus on the task at hand. So, you know, I just go week by week, watch film, and find find different ways to beat those guys. They, they're all great players. So, you know, just playing against that competition and show the uh, the next level what I could do. This team is looking to win the Big Ten for the first time since 2001. How do you guys get there this year? Uh, like Coach B said, just be everybody has to be on the same page, tough, smart, dependable. Um, going against all these great um, opponents, you know they're gonna they're gonna find the weakest link. So that's what our main focus is: uh, eliminate the weakest link. Everybody get on the same page, and I think we'll be successful. We talked about the guys that have left this program and gone on to the pros. That leaves a little bit of a leadership void for someone like yourself to fill. How does that feel so far, and how are you taking on that leadership challenge? I mean, I feel like coming as a freshman, I kind of like I always kind of been in that leadership role. Even coming as a freshman, I kind of led a little bit because Isaiah went as vocal, and Casey he was vocal, but he had a different way of doing things, and I felt like I could kind of relate to everyone. So this year, I feel like I've stepped up a lot, but I've kind of always been in that leadership role, and I just want to continue to set the standard high. Four new teams in this conference. Is that something you pay attention to? Whether it's a little more travel, big time programs, a little bit more excitement as well. Yeah, I say the, the main thing to me just um, going to visit a place like like Oregon. Um, I've never actually been to Rutgers. They've been in Big Ten, but I've never been there, so I, I get to go to Rutgers. But definitely, I mean, going to, to see Oregon and experience that for the first time, pretty cool. Just going out there on that Thursday. We never travel on a Thursday for a game, but um, just going out there, seeing the scenery somewhere that I've never seen before, I'm excited for. When your time at Illinois is over and you go on to the pros, what is something you'll look back on and take a lot of pride that you've accomplished with the program? I definitely say, like like I said earlier, just being a leadership, being a leader early in my career um, as a freshman, and then the guys that I came with, they they keeping that same standard, and I'm teaching that same standard to the young guys. So I want to be able to come back and, and the things that I did that they still doing are even better.
Pat, it feels like this is your team now, and it's something I know you've recognized as well. Does that bring something a little different, whether it's how you practice, how you prepare for games, and how everybody kind of looks to you in the moments of adversity? I mean, it's very important to me this year, knowing that this is my last year, you know, before I go to the next level. And, and like you said, it'll put a, a lot of weight on my shoulders, but I feel like I'm ready for it. I've always been in that leadership role since I started playing football as a youngest. So I feel like it'll definitely push my effort as well. Just take every play as my last play, play every, every game as my last game. Thanks, Pat. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you.